Models are suggesting that La Nina could be fading over the next few months. Now, comparing mid-February to mid-March, you can see that the colder than normal Pacific waters are now warming up over the past few weeks. This is an indication that La Nina is fading. Now, according to NOAA, by the end of the spring season, we could arrive in neutral conditions or return to La Nina conditions in the fall. Now, as we head into the next seven days, we are looking at a normal La Nina pattern, which means below normal temperatures across western Canada, but an active pattern across parts of BC and even into eastern Canada with a variable jet stream. Now, when it comes to La Nina conditions, it enhances hurricane season with warm sea surface temperatures and low wind shear environments. Those are all key ingredients for hurricane development, but with La Nina conditions fading into spring, this could mean near unfavorable conditions potentially for the hurricane season.